Hey you guys, what's up? It's the Anime Blaze coming to you with an anime first impressions. Now, like I said before, I was going to watch some of the anime uh, in the spring anime 2013 seasonal anime because I usually don't watch seasonal anime, but I did. So today I want to tell you guys about this anime that I really am loving from the first episode and that anime is devil survivor um devil survivor 2 okay why do i love this show so much just from the first episode okay well let's go based off of this um let me just go a little bit all right so coming from somebody who has played um let me think so coming from somebody who has played the um, Devil Survivor game, not Devil Survivor 2, but Devil Survivor, um, the first game, I pretty much know how the storyline um, is going to play out just a little bit. Because the difference between the first one and the second one isn't really too different. But um, yeah. Okay, so the thing is, this storyline, it basically takes place in like Tokyo and, you know, major city and everything. And, um, Again, you have the major protagonist, him and his best friend, and uh, they meet someone else. And the the game, the way the game and the anime both start out are pretty much simple. Um, you your friend shows you something, and uh, you don't really know too much about it, but it's it's like a demon summoning thing, or it's like something similar to that. You don't really know too much about it, but they show it to you and the thing is that it what it does is it can predict the future like future events like a certain time period like at a certain day certain time of the day or a certain time a, like a mass slaughtering of people or a large a weird creature or something like that will come out and kill a big group of people or something like that and but the thing is is that the anime and the game both have one thing in common that the fact that the main characters or the characters can change their fate because it's not set in stone if they can change the if they can change what's set for them like their deaths um then they can change all of this the thing that they've um that everyone doesn't know about is the fact that they're being tested for judgment day um the big thing that this anime and the game both covers they're forced they're closed into an area faced with many many different challenges as far as uh, moral views um, right and wrong they have to make choices tough choices um, some good some bad but they have to face them nonetheless with um, and they have to survive these days and what will happen on Judgment Day can only be determined by the last episode, or in this case, on Devil Survivor, by the end of the game. Now, the first episode was freaking amazing. My, I was pretty skeptic at first because I played the first Devil Survivor game, and I thought, well, the first Devil Survivor game was freaking amazing. It had a lot of the different mystery twists. It seemed a lot darker then i mean the, the the cover of the game was freaking red so it looked dark and like mysterious and the game had people like religious cults um people saying you know doomsayers uh people who were just people from all different walks of life too who were trying to, who were living through this some of them died some of them lived but it seemed a lot different and I assumed, you know, I was like, man, they should have made an anime out of the first game, not the second one. But I am glad to say that the second game, as far as the anime goes, is actually good. Um, it stacked up pretty well to my expectations, at least what I didn't know about it. But it, it is really, really good. Just based off of the first episode, um, the main character, Hibiki, his best friend, Daichi, if I'm not mistaken, Daichi, and um, this other f uh, girl that they just happened to meet. Kind of the same way with the game, the first game, but yeah. Anyway, guys, if you have seen um, 
if you guys have seen uh, the anime Yozakura Quartet, then um, this is the same people who animated that. So the animation will look pretty similar. Um, and as well, speaking on um, good news, uh, Yozakura Quartet has actually gotten um, its own anime coming out soon again. Um, the first one was brought up not too long ago by Sentai Filmworks, and they had an OVA, but now they're having a whole brand new, an actual anime series. Um, I'm guessing it's probably going to be longer than 12 episodes. It has to be. Uh, I went to Crunchyroll and found this out, and I thought it would be really, really cool to share this with you guys because um, I watched the first one, and just to see something like this that already had 12 episodes be renewed, and brought back for you know more episodes I think that's pretty good just to confirm it we're going to country roll alright let's check it out alright back button main menu okay let me get to the main menu I'll, I'll tell you guys just so I can prove this to you alright I'm at the front page Yozakura Quartet to be adapted into new TV anime and OVA Brand new. I'll be linking that in the description, just in case you guys don't believe me. So, yeah. Anime. Anime. Uh, spring. Ah, seasonal anime 2013 spring. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to turn out pretty good. So, with that being said, this is the Anime Blaze signing out saying never doubt your capabilities because you never know what you might be able to do. And. Just to be sure that I don't get flagged for, you know, because I'm, I'm, I know what some companies do, like Sony and all this other crap. So I've, I've learned from other people's mistakes. So instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be labeling these videos seasonal anime 2013 um, video number one, number two, and so forth. And I'll be putting in the description what I'm going to be talking about. So that way... They can't hit me with no pictures or really anything because I, I know how they do with that copyright crap. So, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to work because I don't want any strikes. So, wish me luck. Later.